another week of outfits please ignore my struggle braid when my hair is this length i'm like pippi long stocking it just does this my hair is a mess i need to wash it so that's why it's in this braid this car hat watch cap i interned with them they're actually part of the sister company with edwin so i have a lot of car hat stuff black corduroy jumpsuit is from a french brand called hartford which i love they're a little bit long i don't really like the bunching at the bottom so I might take them up a little bit. And then I've got my really old van skate high. I like all my vans old. Can you see the rubber's coming away from the slate there? Vans always look amazing when they're bashed up and loved. The cool thing about this jumpsuit is you can dress it up or down. I wish this waistband was a bit higher so that it would sit on my waist, not so low down on my hip. Love a jumpsuit for when I'm feeling lazy. Today is Tuesday. Here is Tuesday's outfit. We have this jacket, it's from Edwin. I have it in black, it's a men's medium. John wears it and I often find shit bags in the pockets from where he's walked Eiffel and forgotten. We then have this jumper from Rails clothing. Um, I love khaki green leopard and I have a coat that's also this khaki green leopard. This jumper's bobbled a bit though, which I'm a bit disappointed about, but I just need to get one of those shavers and I'll get them off. Um, I haven't washed this yet, so I'd be curious to see how it washes. These jeans are from DL, which is a brand that I worked for. They're a high rise slim straight jean. I have a long torso, so my belly button's here. These are 11.25 inches in the rise, which is perfect for me. When I wash them and they've come in a bit, they're much more form fitting in the top block, which is this bit. But I really, really like um, that they're 100% cotton, no stretch. And they're this really lovely wash black with the distressing. I don't care about distressing in jeans. I actually love it and prefer wash down pre-distressed jeans. I'm just lazy with denim and don't like wearing jeans from raw. The front rise and the leg opening is perfect for me. And this is about where I wear my jeans. I feel like maybe they've come up in the inseam a little bit. They should be 20. No, actually they're right. So my actual inseam where I like to wear my jeans is 27 inches and I think this is 26. So this is perfect for like warmer climates or boots. I look a bit goofy right now. Pardon, excuse that out of the way. I've got my fans from the Good Hood collaboration that I was part of the campaign for. These are just fans slip-ons. They're the OG, got the Good Hood logo and like cool yin yang on this back panel here and the welt's a little bit higher and it also doesn't have the black line. It's just all white. Also the toe box, I guess, finishes lower down on the foot. So I've got your normal van slip-on like will come up to about here. My feet are very flat, so I wear these with insoles, which is probably why my insteps kind of coming out the shoe a little bit here. But I really love the suede on these and then this was like the slogan for the campaign. This is the kind of thing I wear every day, Gucci belt as well. Assume that I'm wearing all of these outfits with my Celine mini cat bass. These are Nike MX ones. I got them from Pam Pam, which is a really cool sneaker store in Bethnal Green. So yeah, that's my outfit. Hey guys, future niche here. I forgot or deleted something, I don't know. So there's no footage of me showing you my outfit, but this long sleeve t-shirt is from a skate brand called Fucking Awesome. It's Jason Dale's brand. Jason's an old school skater from the 90s. And these pants are from Etre Cecile, which is the brand that's part of a showroom that I used to work for. Who I am in a rush. Back once again with another outfit. Today's outfit is just this thick crew neck t-shirt from Uniqlo U, which is one of my favorites. This Edwin cardigan, this is from the men's collection from spring, summer, maybe 15 or something. It's got cute pockets. It's wool, so it has shrunk a little bit, but it will grow. These jeans are from Edwin Japan, a women's collection that they did. It's a slim leg jean. Um, I have black socks on and veins, old schools which I love. Those are the vans I tend to love, the OG ones, just because they look a bit more vintage. An original. First outfit of the week. This scarf is from Moose Knuckles. My, one of my good friends, Steph, was creative director there. I got this last year when I went to Berlin with them. It's reversible. It says, sorry, not sorry. Then I've got this like off-white hoodie from Edwin. If I put the hood up, it's got Edwin on the top, but it's written upside down so that it can be read by helicopters and whatnot, kind of like how they have on ambulances and police cars and stuff. Edwin is a denim brand, but it is inspired by functionality, workwear, and military styles. I need to take this bra off here. Oh, I'm wearing a crop top. I just realized 
I'm leaving it on. These jeans are from the Edwin Archive that hit the bottom of my belly button. They're a really, really pale wash, 100% cotton. I cut them when I got them. I've had these for about, maybe now about six years. I basically got these jeans when the mum jean trend first popped off and they were all kind of barrel shaped or tapered legs. And these were straight and I was way more into that than a tapered leg because I've got short legs but I've got a bum and hips they can just make me look a bit dumpy. A straight leg allows for them to be a little bit longer. I've got my Carhartt watch cap on in this colour. Where did I get this? I got this at Dave's in New York, where I got my Dickies from. That orange t-shirt. I'm sure there's a black long sleeve in there. So you see me wear Dave's quite a lot on my Instagram and YouTube actually. These are the Cory boots from Acne. Let me tell you about these boots. I fell over. I fell on my ass. I actually did the splits in Bone Daddy's in Old Street in these boots. I fell. I fell on my ass and my friend Emma was like, oh my God, are you okay? And like kept going out the door and I was in like a half split situation on the floor. Not cute. This is quite a light outfit for me as you've probably seen so far. But I'm just going for a drink with John's sister. She's in town today. I got this trench today from my friend Tracy. You'll have seen it by now on my Instagram stories. It's a massive trench, super technical, tape seams on the inside. I really want to wear it, but it's way too cold. One thing I do a lot is lay on my leathers. I'm going to show you how I do that now. I'm going to see how it looks with this jacket. I do kind of look like Silent Bob. <laughs> I kind of like it. Bro, with the hood stacked, are you kidding me? I'm wearing this. I'm wearing this out right now. Another day, another outfit. So I'm wearing a black Uniqlo heat tech. I've got my leather Edwin jacket and I've got my Primark teddy fur. These jeans are Edwin men. They're a bit low slung and actually I prefer to wear them in summer. They look really cool with the Gucci loafers and the seam is a little bit twisted, but I don't care. The reason they look a bit crinkled and stiff is because I just washed them for the first time in ages. They are Japanese. 63 rainbow and red listed salvage and I'm wearing them with the flame cons salvage if you don't know what that means I will leave description here because I would could talk about denim forever so I love the nicking on them super cute it's really cool jeans another thing I forgot or maybe just didn't film because I am your favorite bootleg youtuber I'm wanting to style these cricket pants a really long time since I stole them from my dad actually but I paired them with a grey turtleneck from Zara my Primark coat the Carhartt brown watch cap and these old Celine sunglasses and these little Nike TNs in all 